Good morning, everybody. Dennis Engelbrecht with an encore presentation of Digging Deeper. Uh, today, I want to talk about mastering the habits which matter the most. And uh, I got into this from two areas. One is I uh, caught again uh, a terrific quote from Vince Lombardi. Uh, those of you who are kind of young may not remember Vince Lombardi, but he was the uh, coach of the Green Bay Packers when uh, Green Bay became title town and they won the first couple of Super Bowls and uh, really uh, probably the most renowned coach in the history of coaching. Maybe Belichick, uh, uh, you know, has come on in the NFL to uh, challenge that a little bit. But the quote, winning is a habit. Watch your thoughts for they become your beliefs. Watch your beliefs because they become your words. Watch your words, they become your actions. Watch your actions, they become your habits. And watch your habits, they become your character. And, you know, if you go through all of that, you know, your thoughts, beliefs, words, actions, habits, all of that does lead to who you are, you know, to, to, to your character. Uh, and your character is, can be very much about uh, what habits you have and what habits then, you know, go on display as you go through your day-to-day -day, uh, as a leader. Uh, then I also uh, caught a little bit about uh, Craig Greshel, uh, does a podcast, and he did his uh, recent podcast on uh, creating habits. And his quote, uh, the best leaders intentionally, intentionally create strategic habits that produce the desired results. And so how do you do that? How do you create uh, the habits that, that produce the results help you become the leader you want to be. Uh, well, Craig's biggest uh, suggestion, I'd say, is to start with the end in mind. And in doing so, start with who versus do. And when I say who versus do, uh, the key question here there is who do you want to become? What kind of leader do you want to be what are those characteristics? Who do you want to become? And in starting with who, uh, you really have to think of yourself. Uh, you know, what kind of leader do I want to be? And then what habits will help me build that? So uh, an example of this, and it, it probably has a lot to do with uh, what you think of yourself or how you think about yourself. But if you want to think about yourself as organized, you know, maybe you start each day with a to-do list and, and prioritizing that to-do list. If you want to think of yourself as caring, maybe you start each day by checking in with people, either at home or even at work or both. Uh, you know, we used to call that touching the four corners uh, of the office. I'm not sure everyone's in an office anymore. But uh, if you want to think of yourself as caring, that might be a habit that you start each day with. If you want to think of yourself as a servant leader, well, then maybe you have to ask of others, how can I help you? How can I make you more effective? How, how can I, you know, remove whatever obstacles are in your way, get you the resources you need, help you, you know, through a problem or a decision, uh, but basically, a, a servant leader is always looking for the ways that they can, they can help. So it, it kind of all comes down to, uh, again, intentionally creating those habits that allow you to be who you want to be. And then, you know, like all habits and goals, if you want to be good at that, uh, you want to make sure your, your habits are, or, or your goals are smart. Uh, you know, specific, measurable, uh, all of that. I'm sure you all know that. Uh, but, you know, write it down. Write down the habits that, that you want to achieve. Um, 
make sure it's descriptive. Um, you know, sometimes we're just too simplistic with our habits, but be descriptive and that'll help you, you know, have a better idea of all the things that need to occur in order for you to really make a habit a habit. Uh, and then, of course, put it in a visible place, uh, whether that be, a, you know, on your screensaver, on your iPhone or your, or your desktop computer, um, whether that's on the mirror, you know, in your bathroom at home, or maybe it's just in a visible place in your office or on your desk or, or on, maybe not in the dashboard of your car. There might be better habits there for that. But basically, put it in a visible place so you're always looking about, looking at it, always thinking about it, because that, again, helps you to develop the habit, and you're developing the habit in order to be the best you can be and be the leader that you want to become. So again, if you want to be a great leader, master the habits which matter most. Dennis Engelbrecht, Digging Deeper.